We've got a 2075 Lund Bass. This is the XS version, strapped with a big 250 Verado. And uh, we're gonna install this 10 inch jack plate and we're gonna take you through that real quick. We're gonna pop the cowling off here. We've got a one ton jack. It might seem really daunting at first, but um, it's, it's not really anybody can do this. If you got a few hours, you've got a wiring uh, harness here along with it. Um, that'll fasten to the front operator can up down typical jack plate functions. It's nice doing this with two guys. Wayne, you, I know you can see better than I can. We want this motor straight up and down. Yep. Can you see how that looks? Is there, we, we were pretty close. Up a little more, or up a little. Good there. Good there. Cowling came off. Next part that comes off, this pops right off the top, exposes the flywheel. Generally, you're either gonna find a little bit of slack somewhere along the line in order to bring this motor back 10, 10 inches. Then we're gonna put our three bolt eye lift on here. That'll attach to the jack. I need about five, six, six inches, six, eight inches. Okay, that's good. Yep, you can cinch it up. So right now Wayne's <clears throat> raising the tongue of the boat. This is gonna give us more clearance. Just helps. Every boat motor combination is gonna be a little bit different, whether you're running a Yamaha or Evinrude or whatever it might be. So you're just using leverage any way you can get it, whether it's with the trailer, the jack, tilting the motor one way or another, it all helps. Being as so, this is a brand new jack. I'm just seeing how much here we're actually. Oh yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm, I'm lifting more than the weight of the motor right at the minute. It just, I can see it in the suspension on the, on the trailer that I was just raising it up. So I know I'm lifting a little bit more than what the motor actually weighs. This jack is sound. It's three quarter inch bolts that are attached to the, the right here, motor and transom. Half inch bolts, three quarter inch sockets. Bottoms first. Okay. Okay, there's one. Number two. Look at that, we'll get her. We got it. You can actually fit a cordless right down by the plug. All right, last but not least, we're starting to open up a gap here. On the top? Yep, just lift up a little bit. Oh, right there, right there. Right there. Okay. Pull the bolt, take this bolt out. Don't move it. Okay. This bolt's out. Top bolt? Top bolt's out. All right, good. Bottom one's out. Bottom one's out over here. All right, go ahead, lower it. I give you a real finite adjustment. There you go. Oh, yeah. Clear of all bolts. Hanging. All right, should we creep it back? I'd say our work is half done. This is the this is probably the most scary part if there were to be a scary part. We've got a little bit of silicone. We're gonna no. use silicone where needed. Put the jack plate on the transom first. <clears throat> Wayne silicone the top the top bolts there. And we're gonna put this on right now we're gonna leave these top top bolts loose at the moment and we'll come down put the bottom bolts in the bottom holes here uh, it's just easier to move things into place seat everything four inch on the top four on top and bottom and that's connecting the jack plate to the transom yep. okay four inch top and bottom, and then three inch bolts are going from the jack plate to the motor. Grade eight bolt. Grade eight, there it is, right there. That's the fourth bolt from the jack plate to the transom. 
Now, for the motor. That jack plate is low as it can go right now, right? Yep, it is. It's all the way low. I just wish we wouldn't have put it on upside down. Oh. <laughs> We're almost there. We're getting really close. I got both three inch bolts here. You want one? Yep. Okay. There's your SA washer for the motor side. Okay. Okay, last bolt going in there. All right, as you can see, it went through. We got these last bolts. Everything else is tightened up in here. You can see our bolt patterns. Uh, we faced all of our threads. Everything is inside. It's all contained. It's all the way low, as far low on the back of the jack plate as the motor can go. And then the transom to the jack plate is in the middle of a three hole uh, option. We've got some aluminum brackets that we're gonna be attaching to the jack plate for talons. So that's gonna be nice. We don't have to drill any holes into the back of this boat. Everything can get strapped right on to the 10 inch jack plate. Um, so that's all those, hole, those holes have already been pre-configured. You can mount right off the sides. You can put them any direction, tilt them any way you want, and they, they fit real nicely. Double check, everything was good and tight. You know, it's kind of your own personal preference as far as where you want the motor set on the jack plate, how high, how low. It's official. She's hanging on her own lonesome. We did a, two of them last year with the 1875 version. Pretty much the same thing, but now, you know, as you can see, everything's just a size bigger. Boat's two feet longer, motor's 50 horsepower uh, more. And uh, basically the concept doesn't change. It's still putting on a jack plate. So I quick hooked up the battery, power the jack plate. That's it right there. That is wicked, isn't it? I guess that's it.